Hi, uh, today I am going to discuss about conditional sentences. And there are basically four types of conditional sentences. Zero conditional, when we talk about general truth or scientific truth, uh, then we use zero conditional sentence. Like, if we hit ice, it melts. Uh, that means it is basically no conditional. So, it is a scientific truth. Now I am going to give you an example of first conditional. If it rains, then I will not go to the party. Uh, there is a high probability that it will rain because it's a rainy season and in that case I will not attend the party. So when we talk about high probability of present or future actions, then we use the first conditional sentences. Simple present plus simple future. And now I am going to give you an example of second conditional sentence. Uh, if I were you, I would accept the offer. So there is uh, no probability. I am what I am. I cannot be you. So when we talk about less probability or no probability, then we use second conditional sentences. And we use simple past plus would plus base verb. Now I give you an example of third conditional sentences. Third conditional sentences, when we talk about past, what we cannot change, totally hypothetical situation, how the past could have been different. If I studied harder, I would have got the job. But unfortunately, I did not study harder and I did not get the job. So we are talking about the improbability. So we are explaining it past perfect. Now let me explain you why the sentence structures are uh, that way. You can memorize them, just memorizing some of the examples, but if you just understand why they are used in, in a particular manner, then I think it will help you. Uh, first of all, we will have to understand about tense and another perspective. When we talk about present, that means we are talking about truth or fact and when we talk about future future doesn't exist it is what we are thinking going to happen so we are basically talking about probable things and when we talk about past it is just the opposite which we cannot change and it is opposite to the idea of future uh, that is improbable now I want to again explain the four conditional sentences and their structure. So when I talk about zero conditional, I basically talk about truth or scientific truth or fact. If we hit ice, it melts. It is always happen. So we use present tense in both cases. And when I say, if it rains, I will not go to the party. That means there is a probability. So, we start from the present and we are going to future. If part in the present sentence and the second one, I will not go to the party in the future tense. But when I talk about second condition, if I were you, I would accept the offer. We are talking about hypothetical situation which is not probable uh, but we are talking about present or future probability less probability or no probability okay or which is improbable so to mean the future we cannot use the future tense rather we use to mean improbability we use past tense if I were you I would accept the offer and so on once again, you know, would is the past form of will. So, to mean present or future imp conditions, improbability, we are using the past tense. And uh, when we talk about third conditional, uh, that means uh, which we cannot change in any condition, there is no probability. We are just totally talking about hypothetical situations, how the past could have been different. If I had been invited 
I would have attended the party. But unfortunately, I was not invited and I didn't attend the party. So we are talking about what could have happened, but did not happen. So we, to express this high improbability or total improbability, we will have to go to the farthest past. That is past perfect. We are using in the third conditional sentences. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to explain about mixed conditional sentences. Okay. If I had got the job, I would be living in Delhi now. So, the first part, conditional part, I am talking about hypothetical condition of the past. If I had got the job, but I didn't get the job. Okay. So, it's a farthest possibility. Improbable. Improbable things I am talking about. So, I am using the past perfect. And the next part, I would be living in Delhi now. So, I am talking about the present condition, but it is also improbable. Okay, so I am using the simple past. Would plus base verb. Would is also the past form of will. Another type of mixed conditional is if I had got the job, I would be going to USA next month. Once again, there is a hypothetical situation. Uh, we, I am imagining about the past, which I cannot change. I did not get the job. So I am using the past perfect, which is farthest past. That means what cannot be changed. If I had got the job. And the next one is future condition, future probability. But it is again not going to happen. So I am using would, past one of the Bar will and the only indicating thing is that I am mentioning the time next month or next week okay so to mean the improbable I am using the past form but basically I am talking about future possibilities now I am talking about another mixed conditional if I were not going on holiday I would have attended the party at your home so it's a past effect of present condition i am going on a holiday so i did not attend the party at your home but we are using the past simple past if i were not to mean something improbable because i am talking about the future or present condition but it is improbable Oh, I cannot change. I am obviously going on holiday. And the first result is that I would have attended the party. That means uh, which I cannot change. The party has already been over and I didn't attend it. So, you have to understand the context. Then you can understand fully how we talk about present condition or future probability, present probability using past tenses. I hope you understand. Another mixed conditional, another mixed conditional is that if I didn't have a job, I would have started a business. So I have a job, so I didn't start a business. I am talking about the present condition, but uh, it is improbable. Basically, I don't mean that I don't have a job. I have a job. So, I am using past to mean improbable. And the next clause, I would have started a business that is totally improbable. So, I am using the furthest past. Past perfect. I would have started a business. This is another type of mixed condition. If you liked this video, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so that I can upload more and more videos for you. To get instant notification, please press the bell icon and put your comments below. Thanks again.